Granville Moyer. Okay, and when's your birthday? I was born in uh, 1907, uh, January 1st. Where were you born? What town? I was born in Hornetsville, that's a, a Star Salford Township, Montgomery County. What were your parents' names? My, parents, my dad's name was Warren Moyer. My mother's name was Annie. Okay. Um, did you have any brothers and sisters? I had, uh, I had uh, four sisters and, uh, and, and four brothers. There are nine of us children all together. Were you the oldest? I'm the third. Uh, I'm the third oldest. I'm the oldest boy. I have two older sisters. Okay. What jobs have you had in your life? Uh, I worked on the farm. I grew up on the farm. And uh, at 14, I started to work uh, away from home as day, uh, day labor on a neighbor's farm. And. Uh, at 16, I worked at Pleasant Valley Packing Company, it was a butcher, a meat packing place. We drove a truck there for a, a couple, few years. Then I worked in a garage. And uh, then I, uh, well, we got married. Then we uh, uh, bought a farm and was on a farm ever since. Yeah. What's farm life like? Farm life always appealed to me more than anything else. It's a variety of things. I always like to work on the fields. I like to work with animals. And farm life just appealed to me more than anything else. Okay. What's your job now? Uh, my job now is I'm still doing part-time farming. And uh, I'm a custodian at Penn U Christian School. I'm there in the morning and, and in the afternoon, late afternoon. So during the day, I'm still on the farm. Mm -hmm. um, when you have free time, what kind of hobbies do you enjoy? Free time, I, I, uh, I've got a shop at home. And I, I always had an interest in taking things apart and or making things. Uh, trying to make something out of nothing. When you were young and lived with your parents, what was life like at home? How's that? When you were young and lived with your parents, what was life like around the house? Well, uh, uh, with uh, nine children, uh, uh, nine children in the family, uh, we all had uh, something to do on the farm. Uh, we didn't. We had free time usually in the evenings where we would be uh, get together, play ball and things like that. Uh, uh, we didn't have a, it's quite different since it, uh, that time as it is now. We would have, we, we, we would have uh, games and things, yeah. Mm -hmm. What was school like when you were young? The school, uh, <laughs> uh, school was, uh, See, when, uh, uh, at that time, uh, we were allowed, when school started in the fall, we were allowed to uh, go the first day and then stay home for a month because of uh, working on the farm. Uh, farm help was needed, and so uh, that was a common practice for farm children to be at home for a month until the fall work was done. And, same way in the spring, uh, when the weather got nice, you were allowed to stay home and uh, be on the farm. Mm -hmm. um, throughout your life, did you do you remember much about like some historic events like World War II or? Like... I uh, I remember the. the most of all that I remember of World War II, it was kind of hard to buy certain things. Uh, you couldn't buy a, couldn't buy a car unless you had a special priority. It was hard to buy things in the, uh, uh, after the World War II. Okay. Um, how did you meet your wife? Uh, <laughs> the wife. Uh, actually, uh, my cousin, 
was going with a with a, with a, with a girl, and uh, his girl had a sister, and uh, they asked me if I wouldn't go along for uh, uh, for her sister. Mm-hmm. So uh, I, I, we were not. I remember we were not that Saturday night. We were not together. Four of us together, and. Uh, that uh, seemed to uh, uh, just kind of hang on, and we, we went, went, went together uh, ever since. Yeah. What was your marriage like, your know, engagement? Just like... Well, uh, when we got married, we didn't have a big, big, big fuss about it. I went with my wife, uh, with my girlfriend that time, as my wife now, uh, a little over a year. And then we got married, and the way we got married was my, my girlfriend and, and her girlfriend had decided when they were young girls that when one or the other would get married, they would want to have a double wedding. So her girlfriend and, 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 and we uh, had a double wedding, and we weren't married in a church like they do. The common practice that time was to go to your pastor and uh, ride in his home, at his home. Mm-hmm. And uh, he would marry you there, right uh, at the home. That, that was no big ado about it, you know. Mm-hmm. And then we left on a, for, a, for a wedding trip. That time we, we went to Washington, to Virginia, on a wedding trip. Mm-hmm. What was, uh, did you go to Washington, D.C.? Washington, D.C., yeah. Was that a lot different than it is now? I don't know that it, that, that, that it is. I've been there since, and I, I don't know that it's much different now. Mm-hmm. Do you go to church now? Go to Sodom Mennonite Church, yeah. How long have you been going there? Uh, we, uh, we started at Sodom Mennonite Church uh, ever, ever since we were married. Before I was married, I went to Menson Mennonite Church. Have things changed a lot in the way like the worship services? Yeah, yes, they have changed quite a bit. Uh, there was a common practice uh, in, in worship service uh, that uh, uh, the, 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 the deacon would uh, read a chapter and then we'd have silent prayer. We'd all kneel. Mm-hmm. The whole congregation would kneel in prayer. And uh, for a silent prayer, each one would have a silent prayer. And that time, uh, men and women didn't sit together. We all sat separate. The boys sat with their dads and the girls with their mothers. Mm-hmm. Is there anything you like about the past a lot more than the present? I mean, the way things were run, maybe in, when you were a child or something? I, 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 I wouldn't know. Uh, uh, it seemed... Uh, uh, in our in our in, in our times today, uh, it seems a little more uh, like a like a rat race. It does. Uh, yeah. Years ago, you had had more time. You really had more time to do things. Yeah. See, it seemed uh, there just was more time to do things. Yeah. Where today, uh, you got to be on the run all the time, just on the run. Yeah. Was there anything at the present you like more than the past? Uh, well, the, 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 the new inventions are, are, are very nice. Uh, but when I grew, grew up, there was, that was horse and buggy days, you know. Yeah. And uh, uh, it still is a satisfaction to me to see horse and buggies go, more so than to see an automobile go down the road. Mm-hmm. It's more convenient, sure, it's more convenient, the automobiles. But there's still uh, 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 something more to it if you see a horse and buggy go. Yeah. So you speak another language, Pennsylvania Dutch? I can speak Pennsylvania Dutch, yeah. Would you like to say something? Well, uh, I bin aufgewachsen in in Haas von von Nein Kimmel. And my my pat won Brady Hill. And mir sind Regular not for summoning gown, all the Sundog not for summoning gown. So time one I can Sundog shoot. So I used for summoning before when it's great on one or what Sundog shoot start. And, uh, 
very good. What did you just say? Oh, well, I, I, I said that uh, it's still on, I didn't know. Yeah. So I said in English. Mm -hmm. Okay. I said uh, well, I grew up in a family of nine, and uh, we were always used to going to church on Sunday. And I said my, my dad was a pastor, and uh, uh, what else did I say? This was a common practice for us to go to a church every Sunday. What was it like to have a father as a pastor? Uh, I wouldn't say. Uh, uh, my dad was tied down quite a lot because of being a pastor. At uh, that time, the pastors weren't salary. They didn't get any salary. They had to uh, make a living along with, uh, with being a pastor. So uh, uh, you can imagine uh, my dad was pretty busy yeah. supporting a family of nine children and uh, being a pastor. And uh, those were horse and buggy days up until 1917 is when my dad got his first car, first automobile. And that was a Model T Ford. And I remember it cost it cost three hundred seventy five dollars that time. The new that new Model T Ford. Cars have changed a lot. Right? Yeah, yeah, they changed a lot. That that was nineteen seventeen four. Well, we had that for quite a while. Uh, had it, I guess, up to about nineteen twenty four, twenty three. My dad got a, a new star that time. Uh, that time there was uh, there was there was a star in Durant. Uh, Automobile, they're not uh, making them anymore. Uh, but he got a 23 star, and by that time, I was uh, about 17, I guess, or 18, and, and then I got a 24 star. <laughs> so, uh, and that 24 star I had until we got married. We got married in 1928. Is there anything else you can think of that you'd like to say about your life? Uh, well, after after we were married, we 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 bought a farm. We we bought a farm together. My my uh, brother-in-law and I bought a farm together, and we were farming several years. And then uh, he uh, thought he wanted to get off the farm. So he, uh, 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 got out of the farming and, and went into truck driving. So I had the farm alone by myself with a 90 acre farm. And we had a dairy on there and we had, uh, 25 cows. And I had that, kept that for a year, I believe it was a year. So then we sold, we sold out, uh, at sale and we sold the farm. And I started working for the man that bought the farm, and that's. Uh, and then I worked for this man for six years uh, after we were married, until we bought the farm we're on now. Uh, this is 1934. We bought our own. We bought our farm, our farm then, and we're on ever since. So you lived around here for a long time. Yeah. Yes. A lot of things have changed. Yeah. Working at Penn View, is it? Oh yes, yes. Uh, I started. I started. Uh, I started driving bus for Penn View in 1949, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, I've been driving ever since. And uh, now, now I, I, there's not much driving to do here at Penn View anymore. I still drive for the summer camp, Spruce Lake, uh, Spruce Lake camp. How long have you been doing that? I've been doing that, uh, uh, I guess, ever since it started, and that 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 goes back to uh, probably about 15 years that I've been driving for the camp. Uh, that is, uh, 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 it always starts in June and ends up in August. So uh, that was that, that that was my summer job for the last 15 years, and I'm looking forward to doing it again this summer. Uh, you, you take a you take a load of children to the camp, and then they're there for a week, and the next Saturday you bring them home. And then the following Sunday you take a new uh, a, a new group up, and 
they're there until the next Saturday and so on for the that, that keeps up for the summer. And uh, I, I really enjoy it an awful lot. That's why I do it. It's really, really enjoyable. Children are very nice. Penji School has changed a lot. Then I'm, then I'm uh, uh, when the school is in session in, in season. Then I'm back here at Penju again. And uh, Penju has grown quite a lot uh, in, in in these years. I know it. Uh, it uh, had a had a had a small beginning and it grew and today we have over well I guess pretty close to 700 students here and uh, uh, for the uh, I, I used to white along with my form work I used to whitewash borns uh, uh, cow stables dairy borns and then uh, I've, I've done that for a good many years until they needed a custodian here they were. I've been asked to take a job here at, uh, at the school, along with the bus driving. So I gave up the whitewashing uh, borns and uh, took the job as a janitor here at Penn U. And that's about 12 years ago. So that's, that, that's where it is today. Well, it's been a very nice talk. Um, what is your name? Randall Moyer. Um, what's your date of birth? Uh, January 1st, 1907. Um, what was your father's name? Warren Moyer. And what was the maiden name of your mother? Annie, Annie B. Uh, before she was married, you mean? Mm -hmm. Cop. Annie B. Cop, yeah. Um, what was your... Was that your father's complete name? Yes. Okay. Yes. And what was his birth date? Uh, that I really wouldn't know. I, 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 you should have asked me that first. I mean, before. I really don't know. That's all right. Um, what was his occupation? Farmer. And what were, like, his special interests that he had, or that special skills that you remember that he had? Well, he was preacher to Manson Church until he died. He died at 69. But, no. Uh, other than that, he was a farmer. Um, what are some physical, I mean, like, his appearance? What did he look like? Well, he was, I always thought he was kind of tall. He was bigger than I am. He was tall. And, uh, well, he was uh, probably weighed less than 200 pounds, somewhere around 180 maybe. Um, what, um, jobs did your mother do, like, around the house? My mother was just, uh, just, uh, doing her housework, taking care of the family. Oh, she'd help in the farm. Yeah, she'd help out in the farm. She always had a strawberry patch. She always raised a lot of, uh, grew a lot of strawberries. <laughs> um, what, would, what did she look like? Well, she was uh, uh, shorter uh, and uh, <clears throat> not heavy. I would say, <clears throat> I'd say maybe 150 pounds. Very active mother. I always appreciated her a lot. Um, is there one special thing that you like that she did for you? Well, I don't know. See, there were nine children in the family. I was the third oldest, and uh, she always had lots of work around home. I know she did a lot of baking, and uh, pastor's wife, she did, did a lot of visiting. Um, how many kids were there in the family? Nine? Nine. And uh, which were you closest to? Of the children. Of my brothers and sisters, you mean? Yeah, which one would you, were you closest to? Well, I, I, I believe my older two sisters. Why was that? Well, because they were a little older than I was, and uh, uh, they would, 
if I if I had some responsibility, they'd always try to help me. Um, what were the names of all the kids? Of my brothers and sisters. Mm-hmm. Can you go from oldest champion? Yeah, the oldest was Viola, and then there was Bessie, and then there was myself, and then there was Warren, Ernest, Lester, Stanley, uh, Miriam. Let's see, did I have them all? No, no, no. <laughs> did I go on again? Yeah. Oh, Pearl. Yeah, Pearl is one of them, yeah. Right anyway, there were nine. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Um, where were you born? Uh, Salford Township. Uh, one, one mile this side of Harlesville, east of Harlesville. Um, describe your house. The house is still standing there. The barn is not there anymore. It's a development over there now. Uh, the road went between the house and the barn. And, uh, I'll describe the house, you see. Well, it, it, it's, it's a... It's a kind of a longish, two two and a half story house, stone house, and uh, there were two families living there. Um, what were some of the chores you had to do? You mean when I was a, a, a young boy, a uh-huh. little old boy? Well, uh, in those days, uh, when school started. You went to school the first day, and then because of the form work, you were allowed to stay home until, uh, I think, uh, at least a month. And then you would help to husk the corn, and you would pick potatoes. In the spring, you, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's in the spring, you would uh, uh, plant potatoes and plant your crops. And then in the fall, you were allowed to uh, stay home too to harvest the crops. And uh, well, at uh, 12 years, I guess it was when I started to work away from home as on the daily uh, a day labor and neighbor's farm. And uh, you mean, shall I go all along? Uh, what it was? Just your childhood. Childhood. Yeah, I worked, I worked away from home from then on, actually until I got married. Because of the other children at home, I, 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 I was working away from home on neighbor farms. Um, what were some of the illnesses that you had when you were younger? Did you have chicken pox and stuff? Well, I, I, I guess I had all the children's diseases, but I... I, I really don't remember him anymore. Uh, I, I don't think, uh, uh, yeah, like, like, most of the seasons, children, at that time you didn't get vaccinated, you know. Mm-hmm. So you got, you got all those diseases, like chicken pox, not a no maybe measles, and uh, who can call up again, and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um. You just lived them out. <laughs> Um, what was what was Christmas and Thanksgiving like at home? Well, Christmas and Thanksgiving was really a little special. Uh, we usually had uh, the family together and uh, 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 Grandpa and Grandma and uh, uh, a, lot, a lot of times different ones of the relation, yeah, Christmas and Thanksgiving. Um. What is 
one family vacation that you might remember? Uh, actually, actually, you don't know much of vacations at that time. But when I grew up, I don't know that we uh, ever went anywhere of any distance. But we really did. Hmm. Okay. Um, did you have a favorite pet or pets around the park? Uh, well, a dog, yeah, a dog, dog rover, yeah. <laughs> See, I, I, I grew up in the horse and buggy days, see? And actually, uh, going on trips really, really wasn't thought about hardly. Yeah. Um, what would be like a, how would a typical Sunday be? That time, you mean? Yeah, like... What would you do? What would your family do? Well, on a Sunday afternoon, usually, usually uh, the, we, we had there were neighbors around there, and uh, usually we had fun, the children with the children, neighborhood children. Would you um, would you go to church? Do you remember where your church was? Yes, yes, that was Timonson Church. Yeah. And um, for like school. Did you um, like your teachers? Yes, yeah. What was your favorite class? My favorite class, uh, I believe uh, we called it arithmetic. You know what that is? Mm -hmm. Arithmetic? Mm -hmm. You call it math nowadays. Yeah. yeah. That was my favorite, I believe. And reading. Um, how did you get to and from school? You we walked. Walked? We walked. It, we had, it was a mile. We had exactly a mile to school. And we always walked on this. It was very bad weather. Uh, our neighbor, or, or, or my dad or somebody, would take us to school and pick us up on really bad weather. It was really cold and snowy, or very rainy. They would take us and pick us up on, with a horse and carriage. Um, when you got to high school, did, um, did you like high school? I, I didn't go to high school. I didn't go. I just went to seventh grade. Did you? Okay. Um, what were some of your hobbies or interests other than, like, farm? Uh, you might around the farm? <coughs> well, uh, as I grew a little older, horseback riding. We did quite a lot of horseback riding. And uh, when I was old enough, uh, uh, when hunting season was, that was almost a something I look forward to, funny. And that's about it, I guess. Um, was your relationship with your parents good during your teenage years? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had a very good mom and dad. Um, what was your attitude to, towards your religious life then, in your faith? Uh, religious life. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I think it was 14 when I accepted Christ. When I, uh, that time you say join the church, you know. I think it was 14. What did you do with your time? Uh, you mean... Uh, like like if you weren't farming or doing some from the house, what would you do? Well, let's see. I, 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 I don't know. Uh, Yes, yeah, swimming. We used to go swimming a lot in the creek. That fun? And ice skating. Yeah. Was that your pond or was that? That was my down the my cousin my cousin's place uh, at Mainland. There used to be a big pond there at the Skipper Creek uh, down there at Mainland. It's no longer there, but that was it was a. a the water was dammed up. The Skipper Creek was dammed up, and the water would back up way up the creek, and it would give you a, it was a long stretch to skate, and and also swimming. That's where I used to go swimming. In the old swimming hole. <laughs> um, did you have like any other jobs, like when you were teenagers, when you were fourteen? Well, yes. Uh, uh, actually, uh, when I was seventeen. I uh, started working for that time it was called Pleasant Valley Packing Company, which is now Hatfield Hatfield Packing Company. 
Uh, that time it was over at Mainland. At 17, yeah. I, uh, uh, Mondays I worked at the, in, in, the, in, the, in the shop, in the butcher shop. And then the rest of the days I would be on the road with the truck. Uh, Tuesdays to Philadelphia, Wednesdays to Allentown, Bethlehem, Thursdays and Fridays to Philadelphia. And then I worked there until I was uh, about 22. I worked there just a few years. And I worked uh, at 22, I believe it was, where I started to work in the hardest well in the garage for Sam Landis in, in, uh, in, uh, in a garage. He was a car dealer. He, he sold Star, Star and Durant cars. And uh, I believe I worked there was this until after I was married. Until I was married. I was just going to ask that. Um, until I was married. And then after we were married, I worked, still worked a short time there, and then I went back on the farm. And then a couple years after that, uh, we bought our own farm. Okay. Um, who did you marry? Blanche Durstein. And how did you meet? (laughs) Well, uh, I remember uh, Garrett Nice, he went with Blanche's sister, Mamie. And uh, I know just exactly where we met. The... the, uh, uh, had told me to come to meet him at uh, out here at the at the Union National Bank, where it used to be Union National Bank, and Nazi Franconia, Franconia Historical Society there. It's, uh, it's uh, right beside, beside the store, South and Carlos store. That's where we, that's where, that's where we met. Oh, that's um, are there any funny stories about your courtship with her? Oh, embarrassing things that happen. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I don't believe so. I I don't uh, know anything different than what normally would be. Did you court her for a long time before you got married? Yes, it was a, not a long time. No, it was a little over a year. When did you get married? 1928. Uh, September the 10th, 1928. Um, Did you go on a honeymoon? Yes, we went to Washington. Washington, D.C. and to Virginia. Um, When you were married, what were some of your um, occupations, like after you were married? Well, after we were married, I worked uh, about six years for Albert Durstein on the farm. And uh, in that six years, uh, I don't know exactly what year, we bought our own farm then down here on the West Broad Street. And I still kept on working for him, I believe, two years after that, until we got... got uh, got going here at home. And are there any other jobs you did? No. No. Oh, other jobs. Mm-hmm. Well, I was, I was, uh, I, I, I started driving bus for Penn U. Would that be a job? Mm-hmm. Okay, in 1946, I believe, I started driving bus for for Penview Christian School. That time was Frank Coy High School. And uh, I drove for uh, uh, 35 years. I don't know, it's just about three years ago. About three years ago is when I quit it. So that was was one job that I did while we were farming here at home. And I also had a 
a, 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 a sprayer that I used to go and whitewash dairy barns. I did that along with farming here for a good many years. I forget just how many years. Uh, all the dairy farms had to whitewash their barns every year to have them cleaned up. So I did that for a good many years. I can't just say how many years it was. And I also uh, drove bus to uh, Spruce Lake for 18 years uh, to wilderness camp in the summertime. That was after school. I also drove bus for Sodom Church for summer Bible school all them years. And I was janitor at Penn New Christian School uh, for 18 years. So uh, here I am, a pretty old man. <laughs> no. Um, how long did you, I mean, when did you change to Southern Church? We changed to Southern Church right after we got married because my wife was from Southern Church. So, and we lived close to town here, so we were you went to Sodom Church. Um, what were, um, how many children did you have? We have four children, two girls and two boys. And what were their names? Thelma and Herbert and Ruth and Merle. Um, what were some uh, joys and some frustrations you had with them bringing them up? Well, it was, it was, uh, I, I don't know that we had any frustrations. Uh, it was, it was, uh, it was, it was just nice, nice to watch them grow up. Um, what do they do today? Like, what are some of the jobs that they have? Uh, Thelma, she's married, that's the oldest girl, she's married to John Bolton, and she works at, uh, Hackman's Bookstore in Allentown. And John, he sells farming imp imp implements for for Hauser in, in Emmaus. And uh, Herbert, he's self-employed, lives at Elroy. His wife uh, teaches school at Hardisville. And uh, Ruth, she lives in Elizabethtown, and uh, she uh, probably works certain days at, uh, what is it, AGI, AGI store, I mean, it's grocery store. And her husband, Ed, is the oil burner serviceman for Agway. And uh, Merle, he lives at New Berlinville, that's... Uh, near Boyertown, and he works at Spence Ford. He's a Ford, Ford mechanic, Spence Ford. He was there for 18 years already. And that's it, I guess. Um, say, so, um, how do you, do they have, I mean, are you a grandfather? Uh, how's that? Do you have grandchildren? Oh, grandchildren, yeah, nine, nine grandchildren, yeah. You like being grandfather? Well, I like I like uh, I like I like the children. It sounds a little old to be a grandfather, but uh, <laughs> they're still my, they're my grandchildren. And I love them. Yeah. Um. Did you ever hear the saying "Too soon, old; too late, smart"? That was a saying from years ago already. I believe, yeah, I believe that was a saying from years ago already. Um. What did it mean? Uh. Too soon old, too late smart. Well, I don't know. Uh, it just meant, I guess, that you get old too soon. <laughs> um, do you agree with that? Too soon old? Yeah, I agree with that. Too soon old, too late smart. I don't know how, how, how just to, to how, how that comes in. Um... What activities you, are you involved in now? Well, I, I, I still uh, have a little farm here and do some farm work. And uh, that's, about, that's about as far as I get now, just working around home here and 
doing a little farm work, trucking, things like that. Are there any special hobbies you like to do? Well, yes. Uh, actually, actually, all that I've done were hobbies. Hmm. Uh, I, I, I really loved everything that I did. I uh, working at uh, Penn U in the later years as janitor, meeting the children. That that actually was my hobby, meeting the children. And uh, driving bus, I really enjoyed it. Um, now, as far as a hobby now, I like to tinker around at things, yeah. And uh, work in the shop. Yeah. Um, I'm going to ask you to talk about the historical events. <laughs> um, do you remember, like, the sinking of the Titanic? Or I don't remember anything of the sinking of the Titanic, not more then I, I heard uh, people talking about it. I, I, that's about, uh, see, I don't know, I guess they had radios, but I don't know, I don't remember very much of, of that. I, I knew that happened, that's about all. Um, do you remember the Great Depression? Yes, the Great Depression. That was back in, uh, uh, well, that was actually the years that we bought our farm here and started out farming. Is that a hard time? Well, uh, I can't say that it was a hard time. I, uh, it just seemed to be more or less normal. I can't say that it was just... Uh, I know that things things were different from now, yeah. Uh, but, uh, I, yes, I, I know people were out of jobs. A lot of people were out of jobs, didn't have work. But as far as uh, we were concerned, it didn't affect us that much because we weren't we weren't uh, working away from home. We made a living at home. Um, do you remember the flu epidemic of 1917 and 1918? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, I remember uh, a, a little about it. Not a whole lot, I think. Uh, I think as when time went on, they got vaccinated then for the flu, and then like I said, they took care of it. I guess. Do you remember the? Uh, it's called the Hindenburg. Hindenburg disaster. No, that's 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 strange to me. Hindenburg disaster. No, I never heard that's that's strange to me. Um, do you know anything of uh, Lindbergh's Atlantic flight? Yeah, yeah, yes, I remember those days when the, the first airplane came out, and yeah, and then Denver flew across the ocean. Is that really exciting for you? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Thinking of, uh, you know, from horse and buggy days, and then to the automobile days, and then, and then the airplanes coming along. That was very, very, it was very special. say some stuff about what it was like in World War One and Two. World War I, uh, I know, I guess I was, uh, uh, let's see, I was some, somewhere along that age, around from 18 to 20, I guess, and I, I, I know that, uh, uh, I had to, I had to, uh, register. Uh, but I didn't have to, I wasn't, I would just say, I wasn't taken into the army because uh, uh, that, that that was toward the end of the war, and I know I, I had to register, but then in, in soon after that, the war was over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You remember World War II? Yeah, yeah. I remember World War II, I don't no, just anything outstanding that I remember of it. Yeah. Um, I had sort of asked this before, but um, like the coming of the radio? Yes, the coming of a radio. I don't know just what year that was. Maybe, uh, well, I can't say just what year it was. I know 
I know I had a huckster rod to Norristown, and I, I, I remember uh, buying our first radio, and we still have it in the in the other room there. We still have it yet. And uh, I, I, I bought a radio. I, I remember. I can't say just what year it was, but I think I paid eighteen dollars for it. Mm-hmm. And we had it. We had it away on the attic for a long time, and I just saw it up there. I brought it down, and it still works. Really? Wow. Um, and the TV? Yes, uh, TV. It came out here in these later years. We didn't have a TV for a long time until, I don't know, just maybe five, six years ago that we had TV. Um, was the coming of the automobile fun for you? Yeah. Yeah, that was something very special. I know, uh, growing up on the farm, uh, how the road going between house and born, and there were a few uh, in the area that, that had automobiles, and I remember very well yet when they used to come down the road there and around the corner, and uh, even they, though we were, wouldn't say they were going very fast, they still were going fast for that time. Uh, usually the speed was maybe uh, 25 miles an hour, which was about uh, top speed for the cars that time. And I, I remember someone making a, a saying that... Uh, he believed they would get him, uh, step him up, uh, that they would be able to go 45 miles an hour. Because 25 and 30 was really top speed, but they were improving it as time went on. And actually, the, the other fella, then the other fella said, oh, he says, no, he says, if anybody go 45 miles an hour, that would take the breath right out of them. It was just... Uh, Unbelievable that anybody could uh, drive on the road with that speed, you know. But that I remember so well how they stepped them up and stepped them up until speed was, didn't hardly mean anything anymore. Thank you, um, And say something about the airplane. About the airplane. Well, uh, they all they just had these. Uh, Single motor planes, you know, uh, what they call it, twin wi- two wings. Until later, uh, they uh, improved them. Improved them. Uh, you can't hardly believe how that uh, they're flying through the air the way they are. At the speed they're going. And then finally, they got the idea of going to the moon, even going to the moon. And it's unbelievable that anybody ever landed on the moon. But I got a picture over there. I talked with the fellow there, I forget what his name is. Uh, the first one that landed on the moon, I. Oh, there's his picture. He was at, I don't know, at a place somewhere where we, where we, where we were. You, you remember the first, the man's name was the first one on the moon? I just uh, can't say it offhand now. Arm. Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong, yeah, that's it. That's yeah. it, yeah. Um... Do you remember any, um, like, bad snowstorms or floods or anything that were around here? Well, uh, yeah, yeah, we, we, uh, we had high water. We had uh, high, creeks were high. Uh, I don't know of any flooding disasters. Mm-hmm. Uh, and snowstorms, of course. It seems to me we had a lot more snow 
in those days when I was growing up that we have uh, uh, roads were really great. Of course, they didn't have the equipment that time. They just left the door until roads were were completely shut, and then you, then you, the neighbors would all go together with shovels and open up the road. Was there any bad, like, hurricanes or anything that would be good? I, 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 uh, you mean when I was growing up? Mm -hmm. I, I don't remember, uh, uh, not that it done any damage in our area where I grew up. I know we had one since we were living here, uh, a good many years ago. Uh, it called a hurricane or a tornado, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, come down, down this uh, right through here and blew our house roof off of here and uh, blew big trees over here. I can't just say what year that was anymore. Okay, um, this is sort of like a question. Um, what happened to the Philippines? I believe Theodore Roosevelt, yeah, I guess that's what his name is, Theodore Roosevelt. Um, is there any reason why? Uh, uh, well, that was in the years where, I guess it was in the Depression years, I believe. And a lot of people were out of work that time. And uh, they, 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 the, the government gave them jobs on the road. Uh, when they wanted to build roads, uh, a lot of it was done by hand. And uh, what they call it, WPA, I guess, WPA or something like that. Uh, it doesn't stand for what they made fun of. We poke along. Uh, I don't know just what WPA stood for that time, but they made they made a little fun of it. We poke along. But I know that it, that that. Uh, employed a lot of the people that were out of work that time. Um, what do you like better about the past compared to the present? Uh, well, I, I think uh, uh, we had a little more time to enjoy things years ago than we do now. It wasn't, things weren't uh, in a hustle as much as they are now. So actually, uh, the way it is now, you just hurry and hurry and hurry, and you can't enjoy things as well as good as one. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know. I guess we enjoyed it that time, we enjoy it now too. Uh -huh. um, and then sort of switching around, what do you like about the present like, better than? Well, uh, we have a lot more improvements now than they did have, which makes it, makes it handy, very nice. Uh, like uh, in the house, we used to we used to have, have have a hand washing machine. Now we have electric washing machines. When I was a boy, we had to turn the washing machine by hand. And when I was a boy, we had ice boxes, and we had a See that there was ice in now. We have electric refrigerators, which is much handier. And uh, the automobiles makes it sure makes it handy now. Jump on and go. So actually, there's a lot of fun nowadays too.